Welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle, and today I want to talk to you about how you can encourage your preschool children to write and love to write and write with a purpose. So let's get started. It has been forever since I last recorded a video. I have just been so busy. Life is busy. Work is busy. Um, and I just also haven't really been feeling that inspiration to record. So today I was out for a walk with the dog. It is getting really cold here in Wisconsin. Uh, what is our high today? It was like 32, 33. Um, I'm not looking forward to winter, but that is not something I'm talking about today. But I was out for a walk and just uh, started thinking. I was listening to a podcast about kindergarten readiness and, you know, those pressures that are coming down from those, you know, upper grades that are just being pushed and pushed and pushed to preschool. Um, and it just made me think about how we can still work towards those skills for our children, our preschool children to have those kindergarten readiness skills in a playful and meaningful and purposeful way. So here's what I want you to do. I would like for you, if you're really interested in having your, the, the, your children, your students um, want to write or have a reason to write, I want you to sit down and make a list of all the times in your day, in your week, that you as an adult write. So if I think about some times when I write, um, I write down recipes. I honestly, I still have a recipe box. I have recipe cards. I write my to-do lists. Uh, I write in my calendar of things that are coming up. I write notes or letters to families that live far away. Uh, actually, I even write notes to people that live close. My husband, I actually just wrote him a little note and stuck it in, stuck it in his lunchbox. I uh, write down a list of things that I've spent my money on. I have to sign the bill, I guess, at a restaurant when I've purchased something by credit card, I have to sign my name. I'm working on a little mini quilt. And while it's not writing, it's still doing some drawing. I've created a little, um, I've drawn out what I want it to look like. Uh, I make a grocery list. Did I already say that? That's another thing that I do. And I'm sure there are lots of other reasons that um, you can think of to write. And so what I do with that is I say, okay, how can I take those real experiences and put them into the classroom so that children also have similar reasons to write? So if you have a list and you want children to make a list, that's some materials you can put in dramatic play. Maybe you have, um, you know, like a, some sticky notes or some a little notepad that has rip off pages so that they can make their grocery list. There have been times when we have made a list um, as a class to uh, for things we want to purchase for our gingerbread cookies. You know, one time during the holidays, we were decorating gingerbread cookies and I had them actually plan out their, their gingerbread cookie and how they were going to decorate it and what they wanted, what materials they wanted. So then we created a list of my grocery items. And so again, that was for a purpose. Uh, another list could be having a sign in, I guess a waiting list for people who want to go to an interest area. If it's really popular, just having a whiteboard or um, chalkboard or something like that where children can sign their name and the next person that leaves or what, when someone leaves, that next person on the list will get a chance to have a turn. Another thing that I just thought about was having sticky notes for children when they missed out on something or they're sad that something didn't happen that day and they're like, oh, you know, I didn't get a turn or I wanted to play with this or I, you know, I want to do this tomorrow. I say, okay, well, you know, let's write it on a note and we'll stick it up here on the board. So I get a little sticky note, we'll stick it up here on the board and that'll show us that, oh, yep, Susie wants to play at blocks first thing tomorrow. Um, and for some reason that helps them be heard and their feelings are validated. And then also it's a purpose again for writing. So they help me write that note. Oh, forgot too, writing books or writing your thoughts. So at the library and the writing area, you can provide fake, not fake books, um, blank books uh, for them to write their own little stories. You can write, you can provide book making materials. So staplers, hole punches, yarn to you know bind a book those kinds of things so they can make their own 
books and write their own stories. At the discovery area, providing a journal so that they can be scientists and record their scientific findings. There's lots of writing materials at art. Uh, so you can just sort of model for them how to create a plan when they're trying to do create something. Um, can encourage them to make a plan first and then create. I always say it's really important to have writing materials at every interest area or for at most of the interest areas. Um, I just bent forward and saw my, my hair's a little crazy. But you have to model how to use those materials. So if you have materials at blocks, you have to model how to use those. So you might say to one of your children, wow, you, Johnny, you created this beautiful, amazing tower. You know, it's so great that I wonder if other children would like to make something similar. Why don't we grab our paper and see if we can draw that and draw all the blocks that you stack one on top of the other so that somebody else can look at that and create something similar. And then you can have that hanging in blocks um, and then gives them a purpose to write or draw and then also kind of gives them um, that sense of accomplishment. I know we really want children to go off to kindergarten um, being able to write their name legibly. Um, I hope that you know everybody's using capital letter for their the first letter and then followed by um, lowercase letters because that's you know, how they will be writing their name eventually. If that's not something they can do because they're fine motor um, you know, muscles and strength are not able to do that, then that's okay. But again, it's not about tracing their name again and again and again. Yes, it will help them write their name, but it doesn't really, again, like why would they want to do that? Why would they need to do that? So what are the reasons why they would have to write their name? Like I said, signing in um, at an interest area so that they can um, have a turn, signing their artwork, you know, treating it like real art and if they want to, hanging it in their art gallery, uh, signing in for the question of the day or whoever you do attendance, again, gives them a reason to um, sign, put, write, practice writing their name. Just think of all the ways that we, or reasons why we do it, and see if you can recreate something like that similar in your classroom. In addition to giving them those scenarios, those, um, opportunities to write with a purpose, giving them materials to write. So give them a variety of things to write with. It could be um, not just pencils, it could be markers and smelly markers and short marks and skinny markers and long markers and um, pencil crayons or colored pen pencils, um, you know, crayons, if I haven't already said that, painting, pens, you know, all the different kinds of ways that you can think um, that just they would be interested in it. And then a variety of materials to write on. So not just paper, like white paper, um, journals, books, sticky notes, uh, index cards, notepads. What I call them when a waitress or a waiter is writing something down. Uh, not like a, a blah, 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 blah. not a menu, but whatever. They may have a menu or something like that. Um, so again, just a variety of things that they can, they can write on. Or they could even write on other things that are not considered, you know, traditional writing materials. They can write in, for fun, they can write in salt, sand, um, shaving cream, pudding, whipped cream, sugar. That's all I can think of right now. But a variety of, you know, ways to practice playing and working those, those fine motor skills too. That's all. That's what I thought about on my walk today, about how you can make writing fun and meaningful for, um, preschool children. Maybe you have some other ideas and I would love if you would just, you know, comment below of any other times when you think children would really benefit from writing. Thanks for watching. I know I've been missing MIA lately, but life is busy and I'm just happy that I just sat down and recorded this video. Maybe all mumbo jumbo because I really didn't think about it ahead of time. It was just something I thought about on my walk today sat down and recorded it, but still, hopefully you get something from it. That's always my goal. If you watch my videos, I would love for you to go away with at least one new thing that you could implement um, from my videos. Have a happy day and thanks for watching.